You want to learn how to make funk like DJ Akosa? get to it this is a disclaimer right off the bat this is old dj akosa like old doom shop type shit because dj akosa has a lot of variety when making instrumentals and producing songs yo what the fuck this is a highlight right here bro we good damn <laughs> i'm doing what i can bro i hope this bitch don't fall off again so yes i was saying akosa has a lot of variety he makes boom bap he has a whole boom bap tape he has funk tapes whatever but this is specifically old doom shop type dj akosa and this is my version of it because his version is really distorted i mean you can literally copy what i do and then boost the shit out of the volume and that's it it's gonna distort like crazy and that's him but i like my shit sounding clean and of course this isn't like a one-on-one -on -one remake i'll listen to him I cannot believe this shit. <laughs> so yeah, what I was saying is the first thing we need to get, it's like an old man face chop with the instrumental as well. Not, not just an acapella, with the instrumental. I found this one by Dirty Red. Sounds like this. And you basically loop the shit over and over. It's just like to add some ambient and to fill in the gaps. This is what I did to it. I applied some big crushing. You can use Deep Blue Crusher. You can use Destructor. You can use whatever you want. Decimore as well. Decimore is a really good one. And Bit Crush the sample. Then I want you to EQ it this way. So you cut off the bass and all unnecessary frequencies. <laughs> My shit's cursed. <laughs> Bro, this shit cursed. After that, what Akosa liked to use back then is the ASAP Rocky stab. And I added some layering as well. Like a little sand. Now, the most important part is the mastering. What I want you to do... What I want you to do for the mastering is put in a cue, go to presets, choose this one 20 hertz plus 18 kilohertz cut and move the sides till around right here. So you basically are narrowing the frequency range so it sounds older. Then some EQ like this, Fruity Wave Shaper to distort, RC24, that old effect, and then any soft clipper. I use G-Clip with 100% softness. So now we need to focus on the drums. And Akosa uses old Memphis drums. A random kick, an old Memphis snare like this one. By the way, all of these drums are available on my drum kit. The link is in the description with a discount code. Another snare like this, a hat, open hats, which are really good. You need to spam open hats. A cowbell. This is what I did to the cowbell. I distorted it using Camel Crusher. I cut the highs off, put a little bit of RC20 with some wobble to make it sound older. A jingle. And then some old Memphis type bells. They sound like this. But I added some reverb and some delay. They sound like this. If you're wondering what that noise is every time I play a sound, it's RC20 on the master. Because old Doom Shop Akosa has a lot of like noise, white noise, cassette noise. It doesn't sound clean at all. It's all raggedy and fucked up. So I'm gonna simulate that, but I like mine to sound cleaner. So I'm gonna do a cleaner mix. You can boost the shit out of your kick and your bass and you're gonna sound just like him. And make it clip through the mix and destroy everything. Now I want you to make a drum pattern that sounds like this. Pay attention to the hi-hats. I use a hard D loop as well because it's uh, it's the best loop. Some white noise and some ambience like this. Yeah, it's just like a regular Memphis type pattern. Yeah, the BPM is around 140 to 160. Now for the bass, I want you to pick a bass that sounds like this. And yeah, I picked this one from my drum kit as well. And what I want you to do is just fuck around and make a bass line that you like. I made this one. Now your motherfucking 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 Now your mot
Yeah, I want you to do these little chops to the sample, by the way. You can make a little snare roll before the drop. That sounds like this. And if you put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. He used to use a lot of cowbells back when drift funk wasn't popular, of course. Now this just sounds like kind of corny. You can make a melody using cowbells, make something like this. And this is the perfect time to introduce the acapella. What I chose is Freddy Dread. You can pick whoever you want. I just pick Freddy Dread because <laughs> it's Doom Shop. And what I did here, which is very important, when you're introducing the vocals, you need to lower the sample with the loop like this when you introduce the acapella so you leave some space, some headroom for the acapella to play. If you're on FL21, you can just make it lower by grabbing this dot on the middle and scrolling down. You obviously need to put the acapella on tempo. Double click on it, mode, stretch, click on here, fit to tempo. This acapella is 160 BPM, so you go to type in BPM, 160, and you hit enter. And this is how I introduced it. And that's basically it, but what I did right here is a bridge that slows the tempo. I made a tempo automation and I lowered it. And I made a whole different section with another bass line. I used the bells that I told you about before. And the transition sounds like this. <laughs> To make a tempo automation, just select the bridge like so, go to the tempo, right click, create automation clip, you just grab it by the right side and you lower it a little bit. And of course, instead of using the cowbells, I switched it up and I used the bells. I switched the sample as well, I used this one. And together they sound like this with the bass. And for the drums, I just reutilized the ones that I did for the first part. And for the outro, added a flanger automation, that's it. You don't need to go that crazy on the outro. And of course, sometimes Akosa uses the slap bass, the Memphis slap bass. This one right here. So for the last bass section, I layered that bass on top. And I did something a little bit too crazy. I sidechained the bass on top of the bass, like this. If you want to learn how to sidechain, I made a tutorial. You can click this card right here. And if you want me to make another DJ Akosa tutorial, but with a different vibe, for example, his boom bap type shit or whatever, if you want me to make another tutorial on whatever, just leave it down in the comments and I'll peep it out. If you want to learn this and more things that I know about, I have a private community. It's the first link in the description. You should totally check it out. You probably cannot afford it, but check it out regardless. It's the first link in the description. It's the best investment that you could make. So yeah, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and click on the subscribe button. It'll really help me out. So yeah, this one Shinso guys. Later. <laughs>